Ramona and welcome to Ramona Interviews. And with me in the chair is Joseph Rolanitis. Now he is the public affairs specialist for the FDA, but I know that that title is much longer. I know that it is. So welcome Joseph, first of all. Thank you for coming back. Um, and go through your title again, because you do many things. Well, I do, I do. I mean, it's, I've been with him for 20 years, so I've got a, a few little niches after my name. Oh, I'm the, uh, of course, public affairs specialist, one of two in the New England district, and I'm also the Native American Outreach Coordinator, uh, which means I work with the, the, the 11, 10 Native American tribes, the recognized tribes, and the unrecognized tribes throughout New England. And that sort of keeps you busy, gets you out to the reservations, and you, uh, you bring outreach material, you bring the FDA's message to them. Uh, sadly, sometimes they get ignored, and in this rough economic time, um, they're just not as well off, unless you're a casino Indian, and then you're in fine shape. So I work with the Native Americans as well. So that's, that's my entire, basically my entire gambit, really. <laughs> Keeps you busy. It sounds like it does. Well, in this show, um, we're going to touch on flu season, um, myths and facts about flu shots, and you told me just for a sneak into that we've got three shots this year but it doesn't mean you have to take three shots. that's correct get right into ah chew it's flu right. season flu season <laughs> every every time this year we uh, we hop on that informational outreach uh, part of the program um well the flu season goes from october to march on the average sometimes as late as uh, as may ramona um and it's you know seasonal flu is a serious problem we lose about 3,000 people every year in this country, deaths, fatalities, uh, due to the flu. They're usually the older folks, people who are not well, and younger people. That You know, losing one's a tragedy. Losing yeah. 3,000 is, is just really unacceptable. Um, the FDA recommends, as does the CDC and other agencies, that everybody from six months to 106 years old, most everybody, get the seasonal flu vaccine. It's really an important thing to do. Uh, it's available this year. There are no shortages. Uh, the supplies start to arrive in this area in August. They've been distributed to the retailers, the clinics, and the, the, the health care givers in September. Um, you ought to get it before December if you can. The, you know, we've had the flu. I know we've experienced that in the past. It's uncomfortable um, dehydration. You know, cramps. It's not the usual cold with the sniffles and the headache that you yeah. get. It's a lot more severe. Yeah, and, and it's very debilitating. And it's it you is. lose productivity, you lose work, you lose family time, and then you, it can spread. It can, <laughs> it can. And so I mean, it's just a, it's response. And it's not required that you get the flu shot. It's just not. But we recommend that most everybody do it. You know, uh, there are some groups that shouldn't get it. If you uh, if you have allergies to eggs, if you've had problems with past vaccinations, you ought to check with your health caregiver and, and see what he or she says but most everybody else should definitely step up and, and get the flu it's a flu shot it's available everywhere you know your drugstores your your retailers your health caregivers it's just it's a real major push to get involved in that mm -hmm. I did mention you did mention that there are definitely three dose levels this year which is interesting um, there's a high dose flu shot which is approved is approved for people 65 years or older you know, uh, the health care giver, the provider will know what you need or you can tell them what you want and go with it from there. There's a regular flu shot, you know, the standard flu shot that everybody gets. It works. It's a good thing to do. And there's also an intradermal flu shot, which is approved for anybody between the uh, years of 18 to 64. Now, what's that? Well, that's that's a little bit of a different pr approach. It's, it's not the direct vaccination, and it's, it's it seems to be a rather exotic and intriguing add-on to the, the the number the three selections that we have for everybody. Um, and, you know, and with with the flu shot, Ramona, it comes a lot of mythology, mm -hmm. and you know, it's this this year we're looking at the myths that are out there, and, and we're trying to tell people. And I, I talked to an individual yesterday about getting the flu shot, and she said, well, I don't want to get the flu. I said, well, get the flu shot. She said, if I get the flu shot, I'll get the flu. No, you won't. So it's not a live vaccine? It, you, correct. Nicely said. It's a dead virus. It will it make you immune to the flu, seasonal flu. It will not give you the seasonal flu. Mm -hmm. Okay, people wonder if they get multiple vaccinations, are they good to go and better off than most? There have been studies to indicate that multiple vaccines 
don't work any better than one vaccination. Just get that one vaccination before December or, or any time. Uh, other folks think that if you make it to January, your luck is holding out, should you still? <laughs> and maybe you know, if you're a gambling person. <laughs> but you know, it, there's nothing like a cold uh, late or midwinter in New England to, to, to break down your immune system. Um, if you make it to January, you can still get the flu vaccination. You can do it and you, you should probably do it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're pushing real hard to get it, everybody out there to get it. Um, once again, you know, fatalities are always a concern for regulatory government. Um, and um, it's the right thing to do. Really How do they is. know which vaccine to give each year? I mean, didn't one year we had two vaccines, there were two separate ones? I mean, how do they know what flu is going to be this year? Well, they, they look at what's happened in the past, and it has uh, any, any, um, any seasonal flu has a footprint. We look at what happened in the past, and we can we can adjust accordingly. And also, uh, in this hemisphere, it's it's you know it's flu season. In the so southern hemisphere, which is where the, the the flu virus sort of migrates back and forth, we can take a look at what happens in the southern hemisphere and tailor and design and produce and develop the flu vaccine to match what's happening down there because it comes north eventually. So we 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 look at previous uh, seasons. We look at what's happening in another hemisphere. And the folks that develop the flu, uh, seasonal flu vaccine use these as, uh, as criteria for developing a, a successful vaccination. And you know what? Whenever you develop a drug or vaccination, there's always the risk factor. So your viewers, you know, my consumers, should always realize that, that there can be problems. There can be problems. So, uh, you know, redness, swelling at the area, you know, you know mild headache or some degree of uh, discomfort, it's not unusual. It's not unusual. It's when it gets more extreme that you should definitely work with your health care giver to mm -hmm. take a look at uh, any contraindications that you might have gotten from the, the vaccination. Would that be because of the egg mm -hmm. allergy? Could be. Could okay. be. Uh, many, many ingredients, many, many uh, possibilities. Uh, it's a lot of moving parts in, in, in vaccinations. There are people that are really negative about it and will keep, uh, keep it away from their children. And we understand that. Um, but, you know, to be socially responsible and also realize that, that very young people are oftentimes in the, in the fatality or very sick category mm -hmm. if, they, uh, if they don't get the flu, that should be motivational. You know, we all have responsibilities to ourselves, to our families, to make an educated choice as to, as to whether we're going to get the flu vaccination this season or not. We strongly recommend it in regulatory government. The CDC recommends it, and um, it's really a good choice. Good choice. Okay, so from October to March Basically. is the season up here uh, on the East Coast? Uh, nationwide. Nationwide. This, this nationwide. Is, this okay. Yeah, nationwide. Um, sometimes it extends as far as, as May. Um, sometimes people, you know, give mid-September as the start of the flu season. Um, but, you know, whatever the months and, and weeks are, get it early and <laughs> make sure the people in your family get it as well. I, it's, I'm an advocate. When you have a, a shot last year, why doesn't that last to the coming year? Because things change a little bit, and the, the makeup of the next seasonal flu will change uh, an iota here and there. Oh, okay. So so last season's flu, you don't build up an immunity, unfortunately, so last season's flu is um, out of date, you might say. Oh, okay. Out of date, so it's time to get a new one. And it's not expensive. Most, most health care programs cover it. Yeah, and some it, do, yeah. and then otherwise you can go in and kind of pay and, sure. and get it done. Some places, I do want to mention, though, that some places will vaccinate children and others will not on the on what I would call the retail level, like at a pharmacy. Okay. So the people ha would have to check for that. Cause and this, you know, this, this, this controversy associated with vaccinations um, and as a lot of myths, some of which we tried to dispel, uh, you know, earlier. Um, but, you know, by and large, you're not going to get the flu from the vaccination. You won't do it. But you probably could get the flu if you don't get vaccinated. And that's, that's a real, you know, if you're that's a betting a person, yeah. uh, I, it's not a bet that I'd want to take because it's, uh, as, you, as you mentioned earlier, it's debilitating. Uh, it's uncomfortable. You, you lose family time, lose a couple weeks, you know, during the winter season. And um, it's just not a good scenario. The flu vaccine got out into the, uh, into the healthcare uh, environment and the retailers in August. Yeah, I remember so, we're seeing it in the yeah. summer and I'm thinking, Flu? No, it's not. Uh, I know. It's not, it's, not, it's not winter already, is it? It's tough. Flu? It's tough. So but we it, have it. Okay. So and just a couple of things um, right off the FDA's website. Uh, why don't you give us that website? Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty user friendly. Although I've heard some complaints every now and then. It's www.fda.gov. 
it's .gov. And if you do a backslash and then type in the uh, the tailor-made, you know, flu vaccine vaccines, flu shots, you, you'll get you'll get the answers you need. Yeah, and you know, get yeah. vaccinated. It says wash your hands often, limit exposure to infected people. You know, if you can, if you know they are. Uh, keep stress in check, um, eat right, sleep, and exercise. So, I mean, some of these are just, you know, everyday sure. uh, kind of things, but it, but it lists um, cold and flu, uh, prevention tips, um, things like that. Um, if you're already sick, uh, what you should look for, you know, um, so it's a great it's a great little resource. It is. It, it works pretty well, and uh, there's a lot of stuff on there. Sometimes uh, a bit of an informational overload for some users, um, but be patient. You know, it's the government, and <laughs> and we try to uh, we try to service accordingly. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Thank Jeff. You. I'm Ramona, and you've been watching Ramona Interviews. Have a wonderful week.